Minister for Works and Housing, and it's very topical, the Bagri Dam, the spillage. Is there anything that you have uh, through your experience that you think is a solution to that problem? And um, yes. Mr. Chairman, I had the opportunity to travel to the southwestern part of Burkina Faso, where the Bagri Dam is located. And we were given the opportunity to go around the dam. And for a country like Burkina Faso, that we are far more resource than to be able to put up a structure like that. And what it does is that it, 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 it bridges a gap between the usual uh, over flooding and destruction. So they built this dam. They use it for irrigation. They use it for uh, el to generate electricity. They use it for animal farming. They use it for fish farming. And it's, it's, it's such a magnificent piece. I'm thinking that for a country, we have had this Palugu dam on the drawing board since 1964. I don't think that we have been fair to ourselves as a country that we have this on the drawing board since 1964 and we haven't worked on it. Because the only way we can stop this perennial flooding that causes destruction of lives and property is to dam the white vault at a certain point. If we are able to dam it in Palugu as it is intended on the paper, we will be doing a lot of things. We will be able to provide electricity because it is part of the what is on the drawing table. We will be able to provide uh, the much needed resources for the factories that are defunct now because we don't have the natural resources for them. And then also we'll be able to do animal farming and provide jobs. So I think that what I learned there can be replicated. And we have more resources than them to be able to do that if we commit to do that. Thank you.